now we will start with the next one that is answer the following ok. So, uh, we have completed question number 7 now we will be doing question number 8 and that is answer the following. Okay. To begin with the first question is now see uh, we have discussed this thing like few questions somewhere in between. Now, here we have to give a specific that particular answer. Now, the first question is what is the full form of LPG. Now, only we have discussed about the LPG about the three gases and we know like the gas which we used a as a domestic gas in the cylinders in the kitchen for the cooking that is what LPG gas ok. So, what is the full form of that gas? So, first of all I will write LPG and the full form of this gas is liquid ok liquid petroleum gas ok. So, the first question is what is the full form of LPG? LPG is for the domestic gas ok the gas which we use for cooking purpose at our home. So, that is none other than what which gas it is LPG and what is the full form of LPG? It is liquid petroleum gas. Come to the question number second. Now, again this question also we have discussed together only what is the full form of CNG ok. I will repeat the question what is the full form of CNG. So, where which gas it is? It is natural gas ok. We have discussed see now whatever we have discussed that was total a base for this chapter. Now, whenever we are solving we will be solving the next questions the answer should be there in your mind itself ok. So, uh, now CNG what is the full form of CNG? It is CNG compressed natural gas ok. So, compressed natural gas is the full form of the CNG. Always remember what how CNG is formed it is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water. What is the main like uh, constituent of this? So, methane is the main constituent of this ok. Uh, LPG what is there? It is butane, LPG is a smellless gas and this is a thing which should be there. Now, it should be set in your mind. So, LPG uh, it is a smellless gas. So, then how does we get the smell at our home? Uh, when we switch on the gas and do not lit it ok, because a uh, substance is added in that. So, that the smell it should smell we want LPG to smell. So, that because it is highly inflammable gas we all know that. So, in case of any kind of leakage or any mishappening if the gas comes out. So, it should not catch fire ok, a fire should not be there and to make us aware ok, to make us know that the gas is being le leaked. So, gas is leaking. So, uh, gas leakage is there. So, uh, what is the, uh, what the smell is being added ok. So, one can understand that gas is coming out and the precautions can be or the whatever measures has to be taken can be taken. Now, come to the third question which process is used to separate the components of petroleum. I will repeat the question children which process is used to separate 
the components of petroleum okay now we all have discussed that due to which process all the parts all the components okay of what the petroleum or the crude oil is made up of gets separated okay so how can the crude oil how can the petroleum be separated separated means what it can, the components can be isolated hmm? they are asking the name only the name of the process by which the components of the crude oil the components of the petroleum can be separated so what is the name of that process it is fractional distillation okay so third one is fractional distillation okay so third one is what fractional distillation now uh, just now before uh, discussing the previous question we have discussed that why fractional distillation process is possible fractional distillation is process uh, distillation the process of fractional distillation is possible only because in because the difference in the boiling points of the components of the petroleum okay are you getting it clear why we can uh, uh, why we can use this process of fractional distillation because the components of the petroleum okay whatever things are present in the uh, petroleum have different boiling points so that is the reason why can we use the process of fractional distillation okay now come to the next one next question is question number 4th now let me read the question what is the source of a natural gas okay now again i'm repeating the question what is the source of a natural gas okay means just now we have discussed okay what is the source of natural gas we get natural gas due to the decomposition of vegetables under the water so how do we get we get or natural gas is formed natural gas is formed due to decomposition of vegetables under the water okay under the water and what is present mainly what is there it is what methane is the main constituent methane is main constituent okay constituent so what is the main constituent methane is main constituent and how it is formed it is formed due to the decomposition of the vegetables under the water okay now come to the next one children fifth one what is the major cause of global warming okay now see uh let me just make a difference here so that it will be easy to understand this one is the second one then the third one then the fourth one it's better to write fifth one over here now see what what, what is the question they are asking fifth question what is the major cause of global warming see uh there are many causes like uh industrial fuel industrial uh like the smoke which comes out from the industries okay the uh, waste which comes out from the industries so all these are also responsible equally responsible but along with that the fossil fuels play a very big role in the global warming okay 
so what is the question question number fifth what is the major cause of global warming okay so what is the major cause of global warming burning of fossil fuels okay burning of fossil fuels are the main reason for the global warming okay now see it is a one line question so we can write this only that burning of fossil fuels are the main reasons for the global warming but if the same question comes for two marks okay here they have just asked ki what is there what is responsible which thing is there what thing is there which is responsible so we have written simply the global gases uh, i'm so sorry like the burning of fossil fuel is responsible okay but then if the question is of more marks then you will have to explain like because of the burning of the fossil fuels fuels the gases which really are released okay the gases which comes out are which gases are uh, green it uh, produces greenhouse effect okay because of what the temperature of the earth get increase due to uh, due to this what happened the polar areas the polar ice gets melted will get melted and the areas uh, near the sea will get submerged these are also responsible for creating acid rains why because when the fossil fuel burns the gases which uh, are produced okay the gases which are produced when the gases reacts we'll discuss this in in detail in acid rain while writing the answer of the acid rain but here i also i'm explaining it because you know again again if you keep on hearing the same thing it sets in your mind okay it it become you know uh, like it goes into a permanent uh, memory so we are discussing over here so as it this is a one line answer it will be only burning of fossil fuels are the main reason for the global warming but if the question is of high marks and we need to write because due to burning of fossil fuels the gases which comes out really are released out like uh, oxides okay of all like maybe nitrogen oxide of nitrogen maybe oxide of sulfur sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide so all these gases are responsible for what for uh, even acid rains also because when these gases uh, comes out okay they are there in the atmosphere the fuels are there the vehicles uh, the fuels are being used in the vehicles okay these fuels are used in many different ways now the particles the gases which i am talking about are there in the air now when it rains okay so these gases get dissolved in the rain and it again comes down on the surface of the earth and when it comes down on the surface of the earth these are very corrosive okay they, they, the the structure is what acidic okay why it is acidic because the they are reacting with the oxides oxide is getting is it's uh, dissolving in the water acid is being formed okay and then these acids are very very corrosive and actually see they are corrosive for what they are more corrosive they are harmful for uh, the uh, statues the monuments you may remember the about agra okay the agra uh, in the agra the taj mahal is made up of white marble but then it is getting black why it is getting black because of the pollution which is being created near the agra due to the many factories which are there near the agra like the all the sort of refineries are there okay all refineries there rubber is there so when all refineries are there the uh, uh, the fumes okay the pollution which is being created it get it get dissolved in water acid rain is formed and which harms the monument which harms the uh, statues it also is uh, very you know it produces an adverse effect for the uh, aquatic animals it's very harmful for the soil also so in this way what happens you know 
these gases these fossil fuels are responsible for creating the pollution now we will move to the next question now we will talk about question number 6 so the question number 6 is what is coal ok what is coal so question number 6 is what is coal now see children how coal is formed when millions of years ago the plants and the trees got buried ok and uh, got decomposed due to what high pressure high temperature and in absence of oxygen ok. So, what happened a slow process of carbonization took place and the coal got converted uh, wood got converted into coal ok. So, uh, this is what coal is, but then how it is it is black color uh, no bla black color substance which is uh, we can say uh, a good fuel it is a non renewable and exhaustible fuel and the third point which we will write will be it contains ok what is there like in natural gas we say it is methane. So, in coal what is there carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulphur all these are the constituents of the coal ok. So, let us write the answer of the question what is coal. So, children what is coal millions of years ago when the plants ok when the plants and trees got buried ok under the soil at high pressure or even we can write here due to ok. So, we can write here under the soil due to due to high temperature and what was there high pressure and very important thing in absence of air in absence of air which process took place in absence of air the carbonization ok that means the wood got converted into coal. So, millions of years ago when the plants and the trees got buried under the soil and due to high temperature high pressure in absence of air the process of the process of carbonization took place ok carbonization took place which converted which converted coal or I should say wood into coal ok. So, this is what coal is coal is <laughs> coal is something wrong you know now B is what like now how it is. So, it is a black color it is a black color hard substance hard substance ok and what what it is it is uh, it is it is which kind of fuel it is a exhaustible inexhaustible renewable non renewable which kind of 
so it is the black color hard substance and this is the next point it is a non renewable fuel okay and now third point it contains mainly what does it contains carbon okay it contains carbon hydrogen okay it contains carbon hydrogen oxygen okay and what phosphorus i should write now symbols only you should there is no place so nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus so because there was no place to write so i wrote in this way now so what is coal coal is a substance which is formed due to the which process due to the carbonization of uh, like the carbonization process took place which converted wood into coal okay this is a hard substance some like it depends upon the quality of the coal also children okay sometimes it is a soft one sometimes it is a hard one it can be the porous okay depending upon the quality so it can be porous also it is black color it is a fuel which kind of fuel renewable fuel and it contains what it contains carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus but mainly what is there mainly carbon is there okay and one more point which is very very important that i have written over here plants and trees okay i have written here what i have written here i have written here this is plants like trees and plants okay and it is mainly made up of what carbon but again other uh, hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus also present in the coal okay so this was our sixth question now we'll move to the seventh one uh before that we need to wrap the board